victim's latest victim, huh? Well, I'm in charge of the victims who aren't still walking around. Albert Robbins, welcome aboard. I'll do my best to answer your questions. How our Vic died, what the murder weapon was, maybe even the deceased's identity. And remember, I'm dealing with trace evidence you weren't even aware of at the crime scene, so don't be a stranger. When you need information about the body, just ask. Yeah, and we're back. I'm sorry about the uh, sudden introduction to Doc Al Robbins. Uh, what happened was that my game crashed and uh, I had to record again. I just started up and uh, we're back here. We're done with the crime the crime scene. So, uh, for now anyways. So now we're just in the morgue to uh, have a couple of questions for Mr. Robbins about the victim. So let's start with the obvious. What was the cause of death? Or COD? Asphyxia due to strangulation. The hyoid bone just under the bruising on her neck was broken. Ouch. Quick death, anyway. Any physical clues on her body? Found traces of skin under three of her nails. Not a lot, but enough to indicate she may have been trying to fight off her assailant. You can take it with you. Ran a rape kit, too. Sexual activity, but no sign of assault. Okay, so she wasn't raped. What can you tell me about the bruising on her neck? Fairly narrow ligature marks like these might indicate a rope or cord or even a twisted length of sheet was used. The kind that we found on the scene. Anything else? Our... Anything else out of the ordinary we should know? I don't know if you knew this already, but our victim had hepatitis C, found interferon in her system. Nothing else unusual. Very healthy young woman otherwise. Too bad for the guy who had unprotected sex with this woman. So, kids, always wear a condom. And from this is from an adult, trust me. Always wear a condom if you're going to have a sexual intercourse with your girlfriend. <clears throat> that way, you know, this won't happen to you. You won't get any kind of uh, sexual tra transmitted disease in any form so be careful out there okay what was the time of death after death a human body generally drops two degrees the first hour and another degree every hour after that with a four hour give or take given the core temperature of the victim's liver and the ambient temp of the crime scene i estimate she was killed between 11 and 11 30 p.m Any loss of blood from the victim? There are petechiae in the victim's eyelids, tiny pinpoint hemorrhages caused when the blood backs up into the capillaries. But with an internal injury like this, you won't have much, if any, of the victim's blood at the scene. Any blood you find is more likely the killer's. Okay. So, let's visit Greg Sanders. We're done with the questioning now anyways. Hey, dude. Oh, so you're the new pledge around the CSI frat house. <laughs> How do you like the initiation so far? Whoa. Look, I know what it's like to be thrown in the pool and told to swim. I'm here for you. Greg Sanders. Confidentially, I'm the guy who keeps this party hopping. Yeah, right. Anyway, let's have a look at this dollar bill. There's nothing much on that one, of course. Nothing more on this one. So just give it a Greg. Just a torn bed sheet. Nothing special about the fabric or the way it was torn. Okay. It's always nice to go extra rounds, you know, just to be sure. What you got there is a partial print. Tricky little things, partials. Not enough info to call up a rap sheet in the database. Best thing you can hope for is finding an existing print or rap sheet and compare the partial to it. I were you? I'd scan those prints into the computer over there and run a search for any known suspects. Yeah. Skin samples. 
skin samples. Hey, good news. I found enough DNA for a profile, okay. but comparing it to another sample is where the fun begins. Yeah, if you have something to compare with. Next to me, computer is your best buddy. It's hooked up to a number of search databases. Just drag the evidence onto either side of the computer and click search. To make comparisons, just drag evidence onto both sides and click compare. If you got anything, you'll find out right away. Okay. I'm gonna do web chat. Okay. As you can see, there's only one option highlighted. That's the only option you can choose now, anyway. The others, they'll probably come later on. Search and compare. So... Let's have a search for this one. A partial fingerprint. Could still be useful though. We need to compare it to a full print to establish a match. Okay, let's try it with this one. And no. Hello. Our hotel owner doesn't exactly have a squeaky clean background, although 10 years can change a person. <sighs> yeah. Isn't this a little too obvious? I think it is. Anyway, <coughs> clicking out this one. This one. Don't be afraid of the microscope. It's your friend too. Want to look at something under it? Just drag any trace evidence onto either side of the lens. To compare two things, drag the second item onto the other available slot. If you find a match, your evidence and case files will update. Sweet, huh? Oh, dude, I told us we did. Yeah, this is a fragment that we found on the torn sheet in the crime scene. And as you can see, there is no nothing to compare with anyway. So just, I just uh, waste of time. You can't put that under the microscope. Well, you can never be too sure. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I clicked the wrong way. So tough to get prints or anything useful off money. This is no exception. Came up blank. Sorry. Well, it could be saliva from the victim. Sorry. Can't do anything with that. <sighs> okay. Uh, where's the... Where's the... Where's the... Where's the... Where's the... Yeah. Blood. With plenty of DNA for me to draw comparisons. Hey, you can't scan that into the computer. Oh, yeah. Hey, you can't scan that into the computer. Oh, yeah, as you can see, it's been a long time since last I played this game, so give me a break. <laughs> okay, um... Okay, there's nothing we can do right about now anyways. No. Well... Okay, so where do we go? Next time on Let's Play uh, CSI, we'll head over to Jenny Strickland's apartment. This is Topsy, signing out, wishing you good night. Bye for now.